Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you this afternoon. Got a big barbecue coming. I'm getting ready for uh, my New Year's Eve party. And I'm going ahead, this is a Sunday before New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is tomorrow, but I want to go ahead and get everything cooked so I can heat up properly on a grill. That's my plan. But let me show you what we got here. I've got some baby back ribs, all right? And with these baby backs, what I like to do, show y'all back just a little bit. Um, I like to rub them, first off, took the membrane off the bag. Then I like to take a little bit of this product here, this bacon up, a little bit of this bacon grease, rub a little bacon grease on them, a little bit of mustard. Prep them for the, um, for the rub. Now rubs today, I'm gonna be going with the Heath Riles on the ribs, all right? I'm gonna use his honey rub, but he tells me, kick it up with a, a jalapeno garlic rub first, with a base layer of that, so. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna we'll start out with the jalapeno, put a little layer of that on there, then come in with the honey rub, and we may add just a little bit of flavor on the back of them, um, you know, while they're cooking. I've also got a, a butter uh, sauce type stuff that we're gonna, when we wrap them, we we'll put them in, but let's go ahead with the, give them a first layer of this garlic. It's a light layer of the jalapeno garlic. What he said, put on here just like this. I watched him and Malcolm Reed do this. Um, both very, very good uh, guys. I mean, on the circuit and everything. So, winning, winning dudes. So, we're going to do this. Um, got that going. And then we'll come to the back of that with this uh, honey rub. All right. Easy. Layer on the flavor. You know what I'm saying? I don't put I don't put too too much rub on the back of my ribs just because I don't like the chance of them getting burnt. Now if you're doing it for competition, that's a little bit different. You're gonna have to get it all on there even everywhere. But uh, I'm just doing this mainly for the house, of course. And uh, you see that rib right there? That's what we're looking at. We just want some beautifully colored like that. That's pretty, is it not? I'll wipe rib up for you. I mean, that's what we're looking for, something just like that, nice and even. Might put a little bit more, I can see any bare spots. I'll set that to the side, get the rest of these done. Meanwhile, I've got the Y640 heating up outside, get some cherry lumberjack pellets on one thing. All right, y'all, we're gonna switch gears here for a minute. Got the ribs ready. Come on down here. I got a pork butt, Boston butt, about a nine pounder. We're gonna use another kind of rub on this. This is a good friend of mine. I've just met him. Actually, some buddies of mine met him down in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, at a bar we frequent. But this is Tennessee River Pirate. Some of their rub. Okay, this is uh, they have a cooking team. This is whiskey barbecue rub. Really cool people. I've been talking to, to, with them back and forth on Facebook and stuff like that. Well, my buddies met them down in Ocean Springs at uh, a little bar called. Uh, Dax, I believe it is, that we all frequent down there when we get down there on vacation. But uh, cool folks that do a lot of boating and barbecuing up there in Tennessee. They're from Tennessee. Uh, Vols fans, many of y'all Vols fans. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put this on a pork butt, but I'm going to come back and tie it in with some more Heath Riles and use his pork injection. All right, so we're going to use that pork injection. Uh, but first layer of flavor is we're gonna hit it with this whiskey rub here. And let me see how this opens up here. Hopefully I get this right. Okay, he's got it. And again, I hit this one with the mustard first and a little bit of bacon, uh, my drippings here. In fact, I like to do the fat cap side first. I always scored a fat cap. Uh, I didn't get that on video, I wish I had it. But anyway, I scored a fat cap first. Let me get this rub on here for y'all on both sides and we'll come back and we'll inject it, all right? All right, y'all, now I'm going to take my spit jack injector. I put a link to that and all these rubs and stuff in the description box. I'm going to take his pork injection right here. He throws it mixed up. And we're just going to inject this, uh, this pork butt, all right? We're going to inject. I use a quarter cup of his mixture to make about, I don't know, two cups of injection or three cups, something like that. that would be plenty for this. And we're just going to blow him up with some injection right here, y'all. This will be real, real good. And I love this little needle I'll show you I'm using. It's got the little holes on the side of it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it, that way it don't, uh, 
you don't have to worry about it blowing back on you as much. A lot of times when you inject these pork butts, you get a bunch of what I call blowback. I mean, they just squirt out all over the place. But when you got these side injection needles, uh, it works really good. Now, another good thing about his injection, it's a really fine mix, so you don't have to worry about it clogging your needles so much. Um, some injections you can't use with a needle like this. Of course, the kit for the spit back, the spit jack injector comes with several different types of needles, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just blow that sucker up and get it out with a Y640. All right, hopefully y'all can see me good. We're about to load up the Yoda Y640. Let me show you what I'm burning. Remember I said I'm burning 100% cherry lumberjack pellets. This bag will fit perfect in my Yoda Y640. So it was empty. I put that in there. I love for that to help get some good color, good flavor on that pork. At least running that first bag with that cherry. And I may switch to a competition blend or something. Got all our stuff loaded out. Deck that right here. Over the Y640. Whoo! I tell you what, we're going we gonna to do it right now, y'all. Let me get over here and figure out how I'm going to load everything. I'm going to probably put the butt, put in fat cap down, right over here kind of next to the stack. Usually that's the hottest part on your grill, all right? I'm going to come in with the smaller ribs, all right? I'm going to put those right here. Usually that's going to be your coolest, okay? I'll right put here, all right? And then I'm going to put my bigger slabs. Over there, next close to the firebox. Let's get that bad boy over a little bit. Oh man, this is pretty. Bigger slab right there. Right there. All right. Make sure we got some room for circulation there. So we got four slabs of ribs rolling, and pretty much one Boston butt. That, that's a pretty looking setup right there. The Heath Riles and the Tennessee Pirate Rubs going on on these suckers. So it's going to be real good. Go ahead and shut them down, let them cook, rock and roll. All right, we'll come back and check them in a little while. It's going to be real good. All right, right now we're going to wrap the ribs. Let me show you here. We want to knock racks off, put the meat side down. And then we'll pour some of the. Um, Butter bath here on here. He growls. Said this is enough to do four extra no, ribs. Just yeah. do it like that, right? You want it straight up or down? About a quarter of the stuff on there. And we'll just wrap them up tight and put them back on the cook. We'll let these ribs go for about two hours, just like this, wrapped up, and get our tendons. What's in the butter bath? So I just pulled these ribs off the cooker. Uh, they've been on there wrapped for about two hours. What I want to tell y'all is, because they're going to be for tomorrow night, this is the last step I'm going to do now. I want to show you how I know they're done. They're just tender enough. See how those, the rib is starting to expose on there? Shoot, turn some light. See that? See what I'm talking about? See that? Off the bone, that's perfect. I'm gonna let them cool, kinda put them in the refrigerator overnight. We'll sauce them, put them back on the smoke in the morning, bring them up to heat to serve. So let me show you what I've done. Now, it's the next day, we let those ribs and that pork butt rest in the refrigerator overnight. They're pretty much done. But this is what I do when you have a planned barbecue, like I've done this for the Super Bowl and stuff like that. Pre-cook it, then heat it back up on the grill it's fine. I mean, it ain't no competition stuff, but I'm telling you. So what I got here, look, I got that pork butt in the pan right there with some juices just that came from the pork butt. And we're just gonna let it sit there and heat up on the grill. And that'll be ready to roll, all right? It'll be real good. Hey, y'all. All right, while the pork butt is heating up on the other out right there, I've got some other stuff that I want to uh, attend to right now. I'm going to do some chicken wings later, but I want to go ahead and prep a sauce for those wings. I'm going to show you my famous chicken wing sauce. This stuff is on point. I'm going to bring you over here to uh, show you some of the ingredients here, okay? And this stuff is so amazingly good, all right? Uh, what you got here, I'm going to show you here real quick. Get one more thing. All right. You start out with a hot sauce. 
I like to use just the five inch red hot, just mainly because I can give it Sam's. I know this light is terrible to see that. Then you need a hoisin sauce, okay? Hoisin sweet and find this in your uh, grocery store in the Asian section or uh, something like that. A little black garlic puree, you know, I love that stuff. Then a couple of rubs, I like to smoky jalapeno by Heaven Made Products. And also their smoky habanero, all right? Spicier stuff, okay? So uh, we start with a jar, just like this. And you want to go in with your um, your French Red Hot. Yeah. Just want to pour it in here. And this is what we will toss uh, the wings in. We'll mix this with butter though as well, but I don't have to put the butter in this jar right now. So put the jar about half full with that. And then we'll get the hoisin sauce. Well, this is this is the real secret here. This stuff makes it wonderfully sweet. Very, very good. So, just about to put my whole, I had about three quarters of a jar in there. I put that in there. I said that's going to bring out some real, real flavor right there. Okay. Go ahead and scoop that out. That good. Then, um, a little bit of black garlic puree. I don't know if I can get that open. All right. Might want to get a different spoon for this. I'll just get this little knife here. Um, I'm gonna take just a few little clumps of that. Looks like that, about a, maybe a half a tablespoon in total. And uh, then we're gonna take some of the smoky habanero. Just kinda eyeball it to about maybe a, about a tablespoon of that. And some of the, uh, that was smoky jalapeno, I'm sorry, and the smoky habanero. And I will blend this, or you can just shake it up in the jar if you want, and later we'll add it to some melted butter. All right, and this will be our sauce. So it's gonna be amazing. All right, y'all, so now let's make the marinade. that We're gonna marinate the chicken wings in. I'll show y'all how we do this, all right? Come right over here. Let's get a few ingredients. Hey, y'all, it's Saturday Castle Cooking. I just, I get this, and the daddy get this, and... All right, we're ready to go again. Let's go ahead and make the, um, we'll make the sauce uh, with the marinade, okay? I like using this, um, this sriracha here, um, Stubbs, uh, Texas sriracha marinade. It's really good stuff. Um, let's see. Well, a few months out of date. That one never hurts. Let's see. Open this up. We'll put this Texas Sriracha in there. Really good stuff, y'all. Throw that in the bottom of the barrel. Then we'll go in with, uh, of course, some more of our just Frank's Red Hot. All right. Might as well pour that rest of that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to do like a sweet, it's a sweeter barbecue sauce here. This is my fr uh, friends over here at Smokehouse Bayou. Put some of their barbecue sauce in there. It's good. Um, then this is Hoover sauce made right here in Mississippi. This stuff is great with chicken. It's a sweet kind of Asian style sauce. Marinade or whatever. It's, mar it's a marinade really. So uh, we're definitely going to put that in there. We'll blend that up, and that's what we'll use to uh, marinate the chicken. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, just pour that down in there, and uh, probably use about half a bottle of this right here. Okay. Hey. Well, this is the batch I've had marinating since the other day. I'll just show you what I do once I get them out of the marinade. I'm gonna take some of this smoky uh, jalapeno and sprinkle them down a little bit of that. Really. It's seasoned from that marinade though. Uh, take a little of the smoky habanero as well, have the made product, and pull that out of them. Now we we'll get ready to go out to the grill. Alright? We'll get the other side too. You know, just flip it around, get the other side first. Also, I'm got mine here at the Yoder, Y640. I cranked it up to about 300. I took that pork butt off, it was done. And y'all, I'm gonna place these on the cooker for you. Um, Oh yeah, I'm good now. I'm telling you, 
get them on here. My idea is I smoke my wings first. I take them out, let them cool down a little bit. And uh, you, I see I could have done this yesterday. I just didn't have time. Um, and then we batter them and we kick them in the deep fryer, heat them back up, crisp them back up. They're amazing. So they're double cooked wings. Um, you're smoked and then deep fried. So that's what we got right there. Well, we're going to get them on the odor and we'll get back to y'all. I hope y'all remember these ribs as ones I did yesterday. Now, I did kind of a 3 2 1 method. What I did is smoke them for three hours, wrapped them, put that bird bath in there, and uh, or the butter bath, Heath Riles, and I cooked them for two hours, wrapped, I took them out, let them air out a little bit, and wrapped them back up and put them in the refrigerator. Okay? That way it gives me this one step left basically just to build a crust on them and uh, to heat them up for the barbecue day and I don't have to wait four or five, six hours, all right? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go with some of this uh, bird bath. We're gonna put a little bit of that in the side of the thing and I'm gonna paste them down with a little bit of bird bath and that's gonna kind of help our rub stick here. In just a second, I'm gonna show you put a little bit more rub on there, but it's basically a little shellac for the ribs. Go ahead and just get the bird bath put on there. Right? And what we want to do is get a thin layer, right? Is we apply some more of this later, but right now we're just using it. Alright. And now she loves to come by and talk to everybody. Okay, so we got that done. Then I'm gonna roll in here with some more of this um, honey rub, the heat rod. Okay. Honey rub. Yeah, honey rub. So we go with that. And just honey like rub. that, y'all. Just a light layer. We'll have to cake it all up on there, but that's just gonna be beautiful right there. We'll get this to the smoker just like it is right there and get it going. We got my wings on the bottom, put these up upper deck. Alright y'all, so now let's get these beautiful ribs on up here up top. Upper deck. Check our chickens here in a minute. But uh just gonna sit those just like that. Alright. Oh yeah. Man, I love this site right here. Load up Yoder. You know, I'm gonna have to fit a lot more here, but I'm just saying right there. Oh, I'm gonna put this guy in the middle because he's smaller. Put that up there. There we go. Alright, just like that. Alright. Close it down. Let it roll. Man, that's good right there. Let's just do a spot check on everything and we'll go ahead and spread some with some of this uh, apple juice bourbon mist that I've made yesterday. Um, but yeah, everything looks good. The ribs are looking real nice. So we'll get them a little spritz here. Can't spritz the chicken wings. There we go. So all that's looking good. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead bring you inside here I'm gonna pull this pork butt we get ready for the guests to start arriving um, remember I did it with the uh, Tennessee River Pirates rub so we got some of their sauce too that we're gonna mix in this pork butt it's a pull -up. and uh, let's get the claws going here oh wow look at that I mean that just nothing to pulling that bad boy Mm, 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 mm. There's a bone over there. You know that bone comes out clean? Look at that, right there. Alright, so we'll uh, take that. We'll just kind of shred this up with these uh, tongs and get some of it. If you see a big hunk of fat cap or something, I usually just take it out. But uh, that's beautiful right there. Look at that beautiful pulled pork. You gotta try some. With that crust right there. I'm gonna try their sauce too. It looks like it's got a. Okay, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and just try some of this right here with that bark. And a little bit of sauce right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try this. Excited about this here. Oh, yeah. Tennessee River Pirates. Thank y'all so much. Let's see. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, oh man. Yeah. That sauce has got some kick to it, too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Mm -hmm. No, try that. Let's go. Look them up. On Facebook or whatever. Tennessee River Pirates. Good stuff, y'all. Thank y'all so much for sending. And uh, we'll make some sandwiches out of this tonight. All these ribs, about time to sauce them. And go ahead and give them a sauce. I put about 141 internal. I'm gonna grab this little probe. I real pro probe off of them real quick. And the sauce we're gonna be using, hopefully y'all can see here, it says Heath, Heath Riles Sweet Barbecue Sauce. Okay, and that's the sauce we're gonna go with. I'm gonna get them basted up for y'all. And, uh, oh wow. Pretty looking sauce, isn't it? Well, we're gonna baste these bad boys up and let them finish. It won't take me long now. Yeah, basically, we just gotta let this sauce set. I was really, I had that temperature in there, I just kind of wanted to see what temperature they are. They're at 141, so that's good. So, we'll go ahead and get these all basted up and ready to roll. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the wings off. They should be good to go. Put them on this cooling rack. I'll let them cool. Get ready for deep frying them later. That's the idea. Go ahead and save seven. Go ahead and get these ribs off. Oh yeah, it's also a chance to sit. It's just kind of crystallized and bubbling on top of there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, we don't want that rack to break. That is one beautiful rack of ribs right there, my friends. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, knew it's gonna happen. At least one of them. It's okay. That's okay. Still eat good. See what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of cover up that one there with this other one if we can get it all bold. Better get to the right in the middle. Nope, my suckers don't try to break on me too. Here we go. Come on now. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful pile of ribs right there? I tell you what, oh my word. Yes, sir. Again, this is all Heath Ryle stuff we used in this one. We use this uh, sweet uh, barbecue sauce, and of course we use that uh, garlic rub, and have a pinky garlic, and uh, his honey rub right there. That's it, folks. Appreciate that, Heath. Tell you what, we're gonna have to get one of these ribs to try before I bring it in there. I want to get a hold of it. Let's see here. Oh, let's just break one of these off that's already broken. How about that? Sounds about right. Just break it. Yeah, she just pull that rib out of there. Woo! Look at all that meat on that rib, my friends. That's something else. Let's give it a try. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, that is fantastic. Mmm. These, these rye pots are amazing. Oh yeah, we gotta try this on that. That's good. I'm about to blast off some of these critical duty 24 rounds extreme fireworks. What you got here? It looks like All an right, so what we'll do is uh, give me a yeah. read. What does it read there? What's the mortar, mortar shells here, and what you do is you take it out of this package. It's going to be this little PVC looking pipe, and. Yeah. Uh, We'll, we'll lower one of these mortars down in the pipe and light it, and it's going to shoot it up through the huh. boom. All right. All right, so there they are lighting the firework. All right, well, I'm, I'm going y'all go ahead and light it. Critical duty. Uh oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Run. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Whoa. That is extreme stuff right there. my eardrum out. Damn. One more. One more. I'm gonna try to see if I can just focus up in the sky so maybe y'all can see. Wow, that's cool. All right, y'all, we're gonna start with the chicken wings. 
what we call smoke fried wings. The one he's got there is putting the chicken wings over in a batter probe. They've already been smoked. Let them cool down and put them in the refrigerator for a little bit. You don't want to do this with hot wings. Uh, now you want to stick with the big ones in the same batch. You can't put two different sizes in a batch. But uh, that's fine. That all be enough right there. And a bunch of people over here. So what he's going to do, he's got some seasoned flour in a batter pro. And uh, a little bit of chicken fry. We'll go ahead and just shake that up. Do plenty of room. And batter that. You know, that sauce, a little bit of sauce that's on there will definitely help it to stick. We got some peanut oil at 350 degrees in the fryer. And uh, it's all good to go. Okay. Let's see what it looks like now. Pretty impressed though, man. All right, yeah, shake your excess off. You don't want any excess flour. You don't need all that much, not only deep, deep frying, but uh, what he's gonna do now is put your, uh, load up that basket, which chick on, and we'll go over there in the hot grease. Yeah. Is it on top? That's that. Okay, that'll be good. Get it all even in there. Let's go over here to the grease. Hold on. Let me get where I can see everything here. You have to watch this. Right, put down in the, in the grease. Yeah, you have to, no, I can pull that out right now. All right. Dropping them. I'm dropping them in. There we go. I mean, just going to fry them for a minute or two, just long enough to, get, to cook the back. I and mean, that's all we're doing, basically. And heat them up so we gotta cook the whole chicken it's already cooked yeah maybe about two three minutes stops uh we'll check it in two and see what it looks like so basically we're just cooking the batter all right we got this look at that oh yeah right there got them all nice and crisp now uh, we'll go in with our next batch now we're about to sauce, we're tasting the sauce. That's the poultry team, by the way. He's over here endorsing this. It smells, it smells like it got some honey mustard in it, doesn't it? It's good, it's got, it's got, uh, right, I'm gonna toss a few. Mustard. All right, toss a few in there. Roll them, see? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's all you do. And a good thing about all this, you're not dealing with raw chicken, so you don't have to worry about the cross contamination. You just basically just sauce them and go. Just like that. Perfect. Man, there's a noise back here. Alex, please be quiet. <laughs> all right, now. Roll a couple more of that Roll a couple more of that sauce, and that's, that's where it's at right there. Now, some people wins. don't want sauce, some people might, you know. Well, uh, I'm going to um, bring some ribs out here too we can do like this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm.